Charles' disappointment here at uh, Carlisle this afternoon. What are your thoughts on the game? Um, I think it was a strong start to the game. I think we did did well in that first period, but then ultimately after that, it's not good enough. I think after we conceded the goal, um, we weren't good enough, and the second half especially, um, we needed to, to do better. So it's um, it's important to us as a group to to back up and, and to go again. How disappointing is it for you as a player to have to come out and admit that we weren't good enough and that there was you know things that we could have done better? Yeah, of course. We understand the fans' frustration because they come here to see us put in a performance and, and do something in, in the shirt that makes us sort of makes them proud to be here. So you can lose games, but I think to lose games in, in that way is, is frustrating and it's disappointing to, to us as much as it is to them. So. For us as a group, we have to pick ourselves up and, and dust ourselves down and, and try and go again. Perhaps fell down a little bit more to the endeavour and attitude side of it, where in previous weeks you'd argue we, we've looked very good and we've given a good account of ourselves. Do you think that was lacking in areas today? I don't think it's so much the endeavour to do well because we all we don't go on on the pitch to underperform. We go out there to try and put on performances as a group, but today for some reason it didn't didn't work and it, it didn't happen and yeah, we as a group have to put our finger on that because it's down to us as the 11 players on the pitch to, to make that happen. The challenges that we faced, I can say again, in previous weeks we've faced challenges and, and come out the other side playing well, do we think it was a case of us not perhaps reacting as well as we could have done to the challenges that faced us today? Yang has a goal, this allowed a couple of players off through injury, things like that. Previously, and we've made sure that even though things have gone against us, we've come back into games, and whether that's to draw or whether that's to even come on and win. So, I think it's down to us as a group, as players, to to make sure that it doesn't happen again. Because if it happens again, then it's not good enough. And for us as players, we have to put our finger on it. You back on the field, being out for over a month now, it must be good on a positive note for for you individually, at least, to, to get back out there. I'm of course happy to to be back out there, but. I fall into the same category as everyone else. Just because I've come back from injury, it doesn't mean that I've, I've done enough and I'm disappointed in my own performance, as, as I'm sure that other players are in there. So it's about us getting around each other and to sort of back it up. And like I say, the first half an hour, however long, we, we did well before the goal. Um, so it's about us as a group who are out there, the 11 players who are out there, making sure that when we do concede, that we pick ourselves up, because I think we've been good at that throughout the season. I guess a lot to think about, a lot to work on before we move back at home next week and get solved. Yeah, and that's all we can do. We can get around each other and, and go again because the game's come thick and fast in this division and we won the game last weekend, we wanted to back it up today, we didn't. So we have to go and turn our home round again next week and at home is, is a massive advantage to us because the fans back us as they always do in, in numbers. So it's about us giving them something to cheer about and giving some positivity to them so they can go home happy because, again, today, over a 1,000 fans coming all the way up here is, is amazing, so we need to make sure that we start repaying them.